Hey love, so it's your girl April and this is going to be an introduction to a wig that I'm going to make using some hair from, um, let's see here, Chase Beauty, I think that's who it is, but this is available at, yes, Che Beauty, Che Beauty, this is available at samsbeauty.com um, and it's chase.com but it's samsbeauty.com where you can pick this up and if you girls don't, are not aware of who Che Beauty is, they are actually a wig company and they go by J Beauty and there is also another name they go by and right now it's sitting on the top of my head and I seriously cannot remember. But anyway, so I was, um, Give the opportunity to do their new 360 degree weft Brazilian knot weft. And this is a pack of three pieces of hair weft, which is five inches of weft, nine inches of weft, and 11 inches of weft. Now, the color I have is a number two, and this is the Yaki Straight. It is the Brazilian knot weft. Now, it is 100% human hair quality, which means it is not 100% human hair, but it mimics human hair to a max. You can also flat iron or curl this up to 360 degrees and it's flexible styling versatility. So first things first, I did get one pack from Sam's Beauty and then I did get um, four packs from, excuse me, three packs from Jade Beauty. They also sent me some. I really did not think, I did not know that I needed this much hair because I thought it was just like one pack was like one track and it's actually not. So some of the packs that I got were actually um, two pieces um, which was a 9 and an 11 and then one of them was a five, a three piece, which was five, nine, and eleven. But I did get two number fours and two number twos. So I'm going to show you what this hair is all about because it is supposed to be very, very simple and easy. This is the type of weaving track that you can actually flip up in a ponytail or flip up in a bun, whatever have you, because it is so easy to manipulate. It's, it flows freely. It's an easy flowing track. So first things first, like I said, it's the Brazilian knot weft, and that is why they call it the Brazilian knot weft, because of the way the wefts are. So it's not like your average track. It does actually look like human hair quality. Now, like I said, it's not, but over time, of course, it's going to tangle because it is synthetic, but it's a better, better grade of synthetic hair. I'm just going to rip this off. Now, this hair is absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is probably, it, it may not be enough for a weaving, a whole wig, but this would probably be great for something if you wanted to make clippings because it's very flexible. But as you can see, the hair is hanging. They kind of look like the actual hairs that are for, like, um, color, the way they're hanging. So it's very free flowing. You can flip this up. You can put it up in a ponytail. And this is what a weave should be able to do. This is what a weave should be able to do. So all you would do basically is sew in between the actual tracks or the actual pieces of hair right here. Very, very neat. Very, very, um, like, this is like a very great invention, okay? This should have came out like a long time ago. But as for the hair quality, it's really great. But for the actual quality of this, from what I'm seeing, it's a really great grade um, of synthetic fibers, and it is in the color number two. As for as the actual tracks, now I'm pretty sure you girls will want to know, what if you pull one off? Um, I'm not going to say go and pull them apart, um, but to make a wig with this, it's probably going to be super easy, especially because it's going to be able to move. So I will be making a wig out of this, and I will let you girls know how it comes out. Unfortunately, there is no um, closure, but I will do somewhat of a full wig if I can, just to show you the difference, or better yet, a U-part wig, which would be even better because that way I can wear it out and I can put it up in a ponytail. But 20 inches is not as long as I would prefer, but for synthetic hair or human hair, like quality that's good because the longer it is the more it tangles so let's stay tuned for the finished look of this video and yes you can check out samsbeauty.com i will post all of their info for you girls below so that you can check it out okay love so i am done with the creation of this hair from jay so first of all i did like six videos today i did do six videos today and forgot all about this one went to the store forgot all about it so when i seen the hair downstairs the unit i was like omg i gotta do this video so anyway i ended up out of four packs i ended up using 
like almost four so this is like a really super heavy now first of all I'm gonna explain the concept of this it should take 15 minutes to put these in your hair you're you're not going to be able to fill your entire head with one pack because for one the tracks are really not long enough so this is more or less like if you wanted to do like some clip-ins and you only wanted them sporadically throughout your hair like in certain spots then this would be great however if you want to do an entire head with this I'm going to warn you it is going to be too heavy and this is super heavy so I blended the four and the number twos together now for one they do make these in human hair um, I'm pretty sure that the synthetic fibers are much heavier than human hair which they are but if you want to create like an entire head with these which is an awesome concept because they actually move back and forth so you can easily pull them up in like a ponytail or whatever I love the entire concept but less hair is going to be needed I did not show my tracks close at all if you can see the inside of the cap they are like hugely spaced apart like really really spaced apart because they were heavy I had to take this thing apart like twice because of how spaced apart they are now also I'm noticing that the hair is tangling and I haven't worn it yet but it just tangles um, it just tangles so I went ahead and put some different type of combs on it basically these type of combs we're gonna see how this goes and comes and plays out so let's just do this feel it but just by holding it you can tell like it's heavy I'm gonna be honest and say this would make like some really great clip-ins so I'm trying to figure out if I put some clip ins clips on these tracks because they're kind of threaded will they hold because the hair is nice and thick and you really don't need a lot of this plus I love the way that you can just maneuver it up and forth like you know what I mean like you can pull it up super easy into a ponytail like look how easy that is to go into a ponytail it's like so easy because of the way that they're made but you don't need a lot of these you really really don't this is not made for like a full sewing and you know I wish I would have known that while I was or prior to me making it because then I would have really went ahead and um, just put some clips on these and you know made me some clippings so it's probably tangling more so because of how much like this is a lot of hair like a lot of hair could you imagine if your hair was like this thick and full oh my god I would just be in love with my own self like seriously in love with my own self but I love the whole concept of it I just think that they need a little less hair per strands or per um I don't know what you want to call them, I'm going to just say tassels, but I would think a little less hair and longer tracks, that way you could probably really, really get away with doing a full sewing with this. If you could do a full sewing with this and it was human hair, oh my god, this would be like the best invention ever, okay, because the tracks move so freely and I love that about this, like such a great idea, this is such a great idea, but like I said, I'm going to take this apart 
and I'm going to make them into some clippings and see how it works, you know what I mean? Because the concept of it is just like genius, totally genius. So if you're interested, you want to make some clippings, or you just want to sew them in your head and have like three rolls. Some of them come with two rolls, some of them come with three. Are uh, is it three or or four? I think it's um three. I would advise to get the three and just sew them in like in certain spots. You would be perfect. This would be like a perfect alternative you can pull your hair up in a bun in a ponytail with no issue really really great and plus the instructions are actually on the back of the pamphlet or the packaging so that way you can see you really don't need a lot of these because they're so heavy but awesome concept just too much hair if you wanted to do a full sewing um but I like it. I ended up really liking this because it's like a yakky texture. I'm just kind of bummed out that it's so thick and heavy. And my hair is not so thick to where I really don't think that it's going to kind of like cover the actual tracks. This particular style would be best for somebody especially when I say this particular style I mean this unit that I made would be perfect for someone that had thick coarser hair that could really blend over on the top. My hair is so thin and fine that it's kind of hard for me to blend U-parts in. It's always been like that. So more or less, I would have to have a U-part like all the way down here. And I really don't like them like that. But I think like this particular unit would be perfect for someone who had like a lot of hair, a lot of nice thick hair. This would be perfect. And, and so it brushes very easily. And look at it. It's like gorgeous. I love the hair. They're all 20 inches. I didn't cut anything to this. But by far, by overall, I think the experience with just trying this out was really, really great. You can check Sam's Beauty out for this hair. They have like um, different lengths and colors available. And as well as that, just keep in mind, you will honestly need at least two packs. I would always say to try to do like not a full head, but just, you know, in certain portions. And that's about it. And as always, let me know what you think of this video. You can rate, comment, subscribe, leave your comments below. And as always, stay diva and divalicious.